I just want to recap really briefly on what we're already doing because we have a significant commitment. We have Operation Sentinel, which is every day 500 police officers out and about uh, tasking, checking populous places, knocking on doors, a whole range of things. We have Operation Sentinel 2, which is the vehicle checkpoints, eight vehicle checkpoints right around the restricted area, those permanent ones where we're checking the access and egress right throughout the state. We have Operation Shielding, 160 transit police officers, uh, transit uh, protective services officers, I should say, and 80 um, police officers from transit who are out there every day and they're making sure that there's public assurance, they're checking um, who should be in proper areas and they're enforcing as you would expect them to be doing so. And from our perspective, though, the people, the vast majority who are doing the right thing need to understand for those who aren't, there is a consequence. And there are consequences, and I want to be really clear on that. In the last week, we've seen a trend, an emergence, if you like, of groups of people, small groups, but nonetheless concerning groups who classify themselves as so sovereign citizens, whatever that might mean, uh, people who don't think the law applies to them, We've seen them at checkpoints, baiting police, um, not providing their name and address. On at least three or four occasions in the past week, we've had to smash the windows of people in cars and pull them out of there so they could provide their details because they weren't telling us where they were going. They weren't adhering to the Chief Health Officer guidelines. They weren't providing their name and their address. We don't want to be doing that, but people have to absolutely understand there are consequences for your actions, and if you're not doing the right thing, we will not hesitate to issue infringements, to arrest you, to detain you where it's appropriate. The message is clear from me, and it's simple. We want you to stay at home. That's what the Chief Health Officer wants you to do. We expect you to adhere, you to, adhere to the Chief Health Officer guidelines. If you don't, we will be enforcing those. We will issue infringements. We will arrest you. We will detain you where we have to. She's in pain. She's in pain. She says she's in pain. Okay. 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 Then how come she's told you that you're her daughter? Yeah, she's my, she's my mum, I know. Okay. This is serious, you need to talk to me. Where's your ID? Because you're going to be arrested if it's I can't. my mum's car. Where's your mum's car? There. It's where? Over here. Is it walking distance away? Um, I don't know, maybe, yeah. You need to take this seriously because you won't be arrested if I can confirm your ID. You are doing something wrong. You're out in, con on, in contravention of the COVID restrictions, all right? But I'm walking. Okay, all right. So loud. I still need to confirm your ID and you're going to be what under arrest. I'm not breaking the law. No, I believe you are, so I need to confirm your ID. How am I going to do that? No, you Mama, tell me. Uh, you're the one being a smart ass about this.